As the day winds to a close, we're documenting a grim one. New data tonight has COVID-19 deaths and hospitalizations breaking records. Nearly 2,800 deaths, the most ever, and hospitalizations just today topping 100,000. Thanks for joining us. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. This coronavirus surge has multiple layers tonight from hospital shortages to businesses buckling and breaking. And we're going to start there with a new group of restaurants fighting to reopen dining rooms, but with the support from St. Louis County. Holy News 4's Alexis Soto says that story tonight. So here in downtown St. Louis, restaurants remain open for dine in, and that's because the city's health department insists that they are not finding the contact tracing data that shows that transmissions are happening inside restaurants and bars. And that's very different from what St. Louis County Health Department is finding in their contact tracing. And that is why one group of restaurant owners says they want to work with the county health department to safely reopen. At Cobalt Smoke and Sea in Creve Corps, the restaurant isn't filled with diners, but instead boxes of wine and whiskey as they pivot to stay afloat. We kind of cracked jokes that we went from selling food to Santa's workshop. And Owner Bernadette Fawson says her goal is to work with the county, not against it, in the hopes they'll be able to reopen soon. It's real and it's not going to go away and we are not going to get to reopen our doors until we can help be part of the solution of the numbers going down. So the longer that these restaurants continue to fight and battle and defy, the longer it's hurting the entire restaurant community. Her frustration is at restaurants violating the health department orders. Four were shut down Tuesday night. Fawson and other restaurant owners met with the county health department this afternoon to work together on solutions. They heard us. That was the biggest thing we wanted. News 4 has repeatedly asked for specific dates and places from the health department on contact tracing efforts that show transmission is occurring inside bars and restaurants. There are many many scientific studies. County Executive Sam Page again avoided giving specifics today. When we asked the health department, they sent us this quote. I don't currently have that information as our case investigation contact tracing team is focusing more time on talking to patients and contacts and less time on parsing the data we collect. The science is undeniable on that point and until people can eat and drink without removing their masks, indoor dining with those outside your household is dangerous. Fawson says they know cases need to come down before dine-in can return, and she says those who aren't helping are part of the problem. It literally makes my skin crawl because I personally just went through COVID myself, and it was very, very hard to get through. I never in a million years thought it would take me down the way that it did as a healthy and fit female, but it did. Those restaurants are forming a group called Saving St. Louis Restaurants from Extinction and the health department telling me tonight the meeting they had today was very productive. They liken it to when they met with gym owners earlier in the pandemic who came to the table with suggestions on how to safely reopen. Count on News 4 to continue following what happens next with the health department and this group of restaurants. Reporting live, Alexis Otos, News 4.